You know, it doesn't matter to me because I don't really drink pop. And if I do, it would probably be Dr. Pepper or Rip Beer. Diet Coke. Goes well with Crown. Black cats. Dogs. I'm a lab guy. Always had a lab. Very loyal. Great friend. Yes, please. I'll take any potato, as long as it's not sweet. Two answers there. One, uh, I'm, if I'm out, it's baked. If it's at home, it's mashed. My favorite indulgence at the moment is allowing myself to sleep until I naturally wake up when the sun is warm. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> Golf. As much as I can. Don't do it enough, but I like to do more. My proudest moment was, uh, so far, it was three years ago when I signed the papers to my house and I was able to buy it on my own. Proudest moments, uh, I didn't, my wife nor I had the opportunity to go to college. Um, so there was two, I have two children. Angela graduated uh, in the nursing program at Baylor University. And my son came through the business at uh, the University of Alabama. And uh, it was quite a day sitting there through graduation. The biggest challenge I've had to overcome is actually what I'm doing right now, and that's to finish my college degree. Um, I'm going part-time while working full-time, so it's taking the long boat there, but uh, that's every day. It's, it's a challenge. You have to really want to do it to keep, in, keep up with the schedule and the commute. And the growth in our company. We started it, uh, partner and I started in uh, 1987 with uh, a pickup truck and it's grown to uh, 240 employees and getting that done every day is, is quite a challenge. My biggest fear is to have regrets on my deathbed. It's, if there's something that's scaring me, then that, makes, that motivates me to do it even more. Because I don't want to come to the end of my life because you never know when that's going to be and say I wish I would have done that. Biggest fear is putting those people on the road every morning. Those 50 trucks that leave the yard, that they come home safe. It's a fear every day, but everything goes well. That's a tie between sauerkraut and bean sprouts. Celery. Just don't like celery. Can't even have it in the fridge. Everything in the fridge tastes like celery once it's in there. Uh, three words that best describe me would be uh, dream out loud. I'm impatient, I'm giving, and um, sometimes too short and blunt and to the point that 